Hey folks, well I couldn't help myself. I had to come back to Las Vegas. This time I'm staying at the Mirage. It's an MGM property and I feel like exploring this city. Or better yet, the Strip. So we are here in Las Vegas. We're sitting at a restaurant called uh, Segundo, and um, it's off the Strip, pretty much right across the Wynn um, Hotels. And we were heading to one direction. I smelled the food; it smelled amazing. But I really just wanted some chips and salsa, and I saw that here, so we had to stop and get it. But I'm excited to be here. The weather: it is 59 degrees. I'm wearing short sleeve right now. I'm wearing jeans. Um, the sun hit me makes me feel like it's a lot warmer, so I'm, I think I'm going to be okay. Uh, tomorrow's going to get a little bit warmer, but we're going to go out for breakfast, but we were able to run into a friend of ours, and um, he let us know that most breakfast facilities, uh, restaurants, are uh, were full at the time, so I think we're doing lunch, we're skipping breakfast today, maybe we can do breakfast somewhere tomorrow. We'll plan for that. Hopefully uh, we can do some fun things and show you a little bit of Las Vegas during this pandemic, all right? Some of the aftermath of our lunch slash breakfast. And for this, the price was only $25.58. All right, so lunch is over. It is time to go hit the strip. We just finished up. We had our chips and salsa, guacamole, had a beer, Bob had a Coke, delicious. I thought I wanted more, but I think that is all she wrote. Anyway, so Cisco was our server here at Segundo. Uh, it's across from the wind. Delicious. The prices are reasonable. Um, a little high, but of course you're on the strip, so uh, you're going to pay a little bit more. But looking around, the flavors, the scents, the looks were amazing. So come on by here. Uh, it's quaint. You know, it's really nice out here. You can sit outside. And that's what we've done. So anyway, folks, we're going to see what else we can get into. So follow along. Okay, so there's a line to get in here. You can see, must be good. It's gotta be good. It's gotta be good. It's gotta be good. I don't think I've ever seen a line of people trying to get to a place like this. It's so quiet in here. <laughs> Right here. The only circus area? Yeah, so it's right here, and this is the casino table. So I'm saying you can be playing cards, and this is going on upstairs. Oh, so it's really that, really small. Yeah, it's not a big circus. I was expecting big. No. Are they still performing right now? There are times. I don't know what time they started. Huh? It's a lot smaller than I expected. Chickens in a pot. It is. Four chickens, 20 credits. All right. Interesting. Yeah. Popcorn for $3. $3 popcorn, $3 popcorn. 
You know, so I know we're here in Circus Circus. And I'm thinking, I'm like, this place reminds me like of a place I can't think of it. What's it called? A circus. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Casino, ATM, McDonald's. McDonald's, all right. Or two. It's my first time in here. It's your face painted. All right, see how they got the slot machines here? They got some plexiglass in between the players. So they put the money up to do it, but that's what they gotta do. Keep you coming. You got Krispy Kreme donuts. Pizzeria. I did too. Tattoo shop. Everybody won't get a standard issued tattoo. Real tattoo. It's like a real tattoo. Temporary real life tattoo. Like, I up to five weeks. Here's that steakhouse that we heard about. All right, so these are the Best of Las Vegas Awards. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm not seeing anything local, you know. No, no, I'm saying I could be wrong, but there's nothing since 2008. We're a little further down than that now, so maybe it's not the best anymore. Yeah. They stopped doing those. We're still voting last year, best steakhouse in the city. Oh? All time. RJ just started doing some stupid stuff. Hold on. Huh. Yeah. But, uh, we're, yeah. We're, we're talking to our friend. He said, yeah, this is the best place yeah, for like no. 40 years. Yeah, we just got uh, all-time best in the city just a couple months ago. Wow. Really? From Lifetime the award from... And there's all sorts of awards in there. We've never lost until the Review Journal went to doing it where you can get a casino. Everybody works in there, fills it out. Huh. It's all bull****. So it stopped really becoming any importance. But if you look inside, you see we have... Uh, the ones that really count. Oh, wow. Well, all right, so they're not open. He's letting us in real quick. Take a look at their awards. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Hey, we do have some locals or some local t stuff. All right, good. Well, thank you for letting us You're look welcome. at this. We will definitely want to try this. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can make, make sure we make a reservation because it's, it's oh, sell out every night. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Reservations are required to. Uh, Okay. Get your needs taken care of. <laughs> well, thank you very much, sir. I'm glad to run into you. Yeah. All right, so we just took a look at the Circus Circus Steakhouse here, and we were lucky to find somebody who works there while they were closed to let us know that they are still in, on top here when it comes to um, being best steakhouse. Never know. More temporary tattoos. Chocolini. Choc I don't know how to pronounce that. Is this Italian ice? Was this Italian ice or is this um, gelato? Gelato. Because I don't know. So I think it's a combination. I think these are ice. Yeah, they do. I've been to Rome only one time, and this is very popular in Rome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they only give you a cup, like this big. Yeah, it was small. Because that's why Rome's are small. Rome people aren't uh -uh. Hi there. We're just taking a look. Thank you very much. You as well. This is gelato in sorbet. Okay.
sitting wristband in the tree. There's a clown in there. Um, this is the line to get into there. This is all right. So we didn't need a ticket just to walk in. Got a clown walking away. Yo, look, he's got in his clown face. He's got a uh, his nose on his uh, face mask. Oh, there it is. here at Circus Circus. We are in the Adventure Dome and you can see this right behind me. I'm trying to get it so it's, it's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, I do wanna try it. Maybe not this trip. May have to come back to do this, so. Oh my gosh, that looks so much fun. Like, I really wanna try that. Chris, Joe, Bob, would you do it? Maybe. Bob maybe. said maybe he would do it. And he don't like doing a lot of that stuff, but it was, they kind of look good, so. Oh. Huh. Huh. Well, that's not what we thought we were looking for. It's over there. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Possibly. Oh, there goes the roller coaster. here at the Adventure Dome and I saw people just walking up getting on the rides not sure what to do and I turned the bomb and I was like I think anybody can just jump on these I don't see what they're doing well we asked silly us there's a wristband you gotta purchase uh, and that's how they know that you get on the ride so um, they look fun not gonna lie they do look fun uh, so you can definitely feel the vibration in here the atmosphere during covid is still pretty good anyway so it's a good time to be here when it's not that busy to do this forty dollars a day for an adult and this is really close to the layover hotel that I stay at when I come to Vegas um, it's inside it's cool it's temperature controlled so it's not going to be uh, that hot being in here 
and it's walking distance from my hotel without um, going so far. I think I could do this as a layover. So I really knew nothing about Circus Circus. I've heard it's been here for a long time, but it just really never had any information to make me want to come or not want to come. So I never came. I'm here now and um, I think I could have a good time. So initial thought of the place is more like it's a county fair. Some of the things I saw, and then I saw some of the rides, and I'm like, okay, maybe more like a state fair uh, or a circus, right? It's, it's like a circus. Anyway, it's old, I guess. It's been around for a while, but looks like some of the rides are a lot of fun. The kids are seeing they have smiles on their face. So, anyway, folks, if you like this video and others like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You know, also hit that uh, bell for future notifications. So, traveling jump shaders, we're everywhere. Where are we going to go next? Follow along.